All right, in this video, we're gonna show you how you can grow a peach tree from a pit. So peaches and plums and apricots, apricots is what I call them, are all stone fruit, so they have these hard uh, stones or pits in the middle of them. Uh, these two are from an Alberta, a lemon Alberta peach tree, and these ones over here, the rest of these actually are all from a O'Henry peach tree. So the first thing you need to do is at the end of the season, you of course eat your peach. After you eat your peach, you then have your uh, stones here and you need to, in order to make the process go a little bit faster, we wanna get the seed out from inside of these pits. So you have to crack these guys open in order to get the uh, pit and that'll make uh, growing the trees a lot faster. So what you do is you need to have a little pair of vice grips or something like that or even a vice. These are really hard and so you need to be able to pry these guys and crack them open. So uh, just get your vice grips here and I'm just gonna kind of show you, demonstrate really quick here. I'm just twisting down here to kind of get this guy at the proper pressure. And when these guys crack, they sometimes will definitely make a mess. So I'm gonna wrap it uh, inside of this little guy right here. So I'm gonna wrap it up and I'll just try to give it a quick squeeze there and you can see that wasn't enough because it didn't go. So gotta tighten this down a little bit. Give it one more try there. See if this one will break for us. Oh, oh, there she goes. And let's see what we got here. Hopefully, I didn't break the seed inside. And there's the seed. So that right, it's just all the shell. That's the stone there, and this is the guy we're after right there. So you'll do that for as many peaches as you want to grow. So uh, you can see that I actually scraped it a little bit. I didn't, I must have. So if you, you can see there on the video, I scraped that just a hair bit. You gotta be really careful with these seeds. You don't wanna damage them. This may still germinate, it may not. But if you can avoid scraping them, definitely do that. Uh, so after you do that, you basically get a whole bunch of these. So I'm gonna do one more here. I'll try to get uh, one of these other ones, see if I can get one of these to crack and not break. Let's do one more. And then uh, while I'm cracking this, the, the next process is called stratification. So you need to, whoops, stratify the seeds. Oh, nope, that didn't get it. One more. Also a little, if you just get a flathead screwdriver, sometimes you can just place that right in there after you get a spot and just pry left to right and crack these guys open. I've had success doing that. Right down there, there's a little seam. So sometimes you can just, uh, Pry these guys open a little bit, but whoa, that one shot everywhere and I heard the seed. There it is. So that one went a little bit better and there's the seed there. You can see this seed's actually is slightly deformed. It's, usually they're just pretty flat. It's got a big ridge, but you'll definitely want to try to start several. I'll have a few that won't germinate. Uh, so there's a couple of seeds and that's what we need to start these guys. Now you want to be careful here with the tip because the tip is where the roots will come out. So when this guy starts to germinate, uh, the roots will come down out of this tip end, so you don't want to damage that. And then when you plant your seed, you'll plant it with the roots down. Uh, but you basically gather your seeds like this, a whole mess of them. And then you need to place these guys in the uh, freezer. So I'm going to show you the process I did. Basically you just get a paper towel like this and fold it over in half. And then I just laid a whole bunch of seeds in like so. So you just lay a whole row of seeds all the way down, fold it in half to kind of trap them, and then put this uh, paper towel with all of your seeds in like this inside of a Ziploc bag, and then spray it with a spray bottle to soak the whole entire thing. So it will look like something like this. Now, this is one that I started last year. Uh, you can see the date here. If you can't see the date, let me flip that over. So this is from my Alberta, and I put it in the freezer on 11-7-2018, so just last winter. And I froze it for, I wrote 24 hours, but I actually think I left this one in for a couple of days in the freezer. Uh, so you want to freeze them to start the stratification process for a few days. After they freeze, you can see this is soaking wet in here, right? Because this is paper towels all you Transfer it to your fridge, and you place this inside of your fridge for... Depends on the seed, really, but anywhere from, I would say, six weeks to 
uh, the date here is March, and these are just sprouting now. So these have been in the freezer almost four months. Uh, so it could be six weeks anywhere to, I don't know, 12 weeks, I suppose. Depends on the seed. Uh, a mistake I did make with mine, you want to make sure. I, I put some tape on them and just hung them up in my freezer like this. I just taped them to the very back. But the very back of my freezer was so cold when I checked them after three or four weeks, uh, they were still frost. Uh, on this bag because the very back of my fridge is really cold. So then I moved them and taped them to the front so that there was always water in here. So anyway, I'm gonna open this up and show you what they look like after a few months in the fridge. So we'll pop this guy open and I'll pull out this little bag and kind of show you here quick because a couple of these are already sprouting. I actually took one of them out last night and planted it. So there you go. You can see that this guy right here is already sprouting out there. That is in the root tip. So when you plant this, you just put it in a little, you know, little starter container, plant it straight down, cover it up, uh, make sure you, you know, just like you would start any other plant, I suppose, or seed, keep it in, uh, indoors while you're starting it and well watered and you can see all these are actually starting to sprout that one's starting that one's starting that one's starting so anyway that is what they'll start to look like now these are just barely sprouting if you leave these in if i left these in a little bit longer uh this sprout would actually you know you can get these those sprouts to come out a half inch or two or three sometimes will come out of there if you leave them in longer uh but that's how you sprout them and then once you plant them uh, early in spring, they will start to grow into lovely peach trees. So that's kind of the process of sprouting and growing peach trees from seeds. Hope you liked it. Thanks.